NASA's Curiosity rover has just captured something truly breathtaking. Shimmering, colorful twilight clouds drifting across the Martian sky. Picture this. Vibrant reds, greens, and even rainbow hues painting the atmosphere. Not on Earth, but on the red planet itself. Sounds surreal. Yet it's real, and it's groundbreaking. These glowing clouds hold secrets about Mars's climate, its mysterious past, and even the possibility of ancient life. What makes them so extraordinary? And why could they be crucial for future space exploration? Let's dive into the science behind this mesmerizing phenomenon and uncover the mysteries hidden in the Martian skies. NASA's Curiosity rover has just captured something truly out of this world. Shimmering, colorful twilight clouds lighting up the Martian sky. Picture this, vibrant hues of red, green, and even rainbow shades gliding across a fading sunset. Not here on Earth, but on the red planet itself. Sounds surreal, right? But this is real, and it's scientifically groundbreaking. Every shimmering color, every drift of these high-altitude clouds tells a story about the planet's climate, its mysterious history, and even the possibility of life in its ancient past. In this exploration, we'll dive into what makes these Martian twilight clouds so extraordinary, uncover the science behind their formation, and explore why this discovery could be crucial for the future of space exploration, and maybe even for humanity's dreams of living on Mars. Mars, the star of today's show, is home to twilight clouds that are nothing like the clouds we see on Earth. Imagine a Martian sunset. As the sun dips below the horizon, thin, glowing clouds begin to shimmer, sometimes in shades of red, green, and even rainbow hues. These are noctilucent clouds, or night-shining clouds. On Earth, we see similar clouds at high altitudes in polar regions, formed from water ice crystals. On Mars, however, the thin atmosphere, just about 1% the density of Earth's, means these clouds are composed of frozen carbon dioxide, or dry ice. The science team is studying the clouds, which arrived earlier and formed higher than expected, to learn more about the red planet. Cloudy days are rare in the thin, dry atmosphere of Mars. Clouds are typically found at the planet's equator in the coldest time of year, when Mars is the farthest from the sun in its oval-shaped orbit. But one full Martian year ago, two Earth years, Scientists noticed clouds forming over NASA's Curiosity rover earlier than expected. This year, they were ready to start documenting these early clouds from the moment they first appeared in late January. What resulted are images of wispy puffs filled with ice crystals that scattered light from the setting sun, some of them shimmering with color. More than just spectacular displays, such images help scientists understand how clouds form on Mars and why these recent ones are different. In fact, Curiosity's team has already made one new discovery. The early arrival clouds are actually at higher altitudes than is typical. Most Martian clouds hover no more than about 37 miles, 60 kilometers in the sky and are composed of water ice. But the clouds Curiosity has imaged are at a higher altitude where it's very cold indicating that they are likely made of frozen carbon dioxide, or dry ice. Scientists look for subtle clues to establish a cloud's altitude, and it will take more analysis to say for sure which of Curiosity's recent images show water ice clouds and which show dry ice ones. The fine, rippling structures of these clouds are easier to see with images from Curiosity's black-and-white navigation cameras but it's the color images from the rover's mast camera, or mast cam, that really shine, literally. Viewed just after sunset, their ice crystals catch the fading light, causing them to appear to glow against the darkening sky. These twilight clouds, also known as noctilucent, Latin for night shining, clouds grow brighter as they fill with crystals, then darken after the sun's position in the sky drops below their altitude. This is just one useful clue scientists use to determine how high they are. Even more stunning are iridescent, or 
mother of pearl clouds. If you see a cloud with a shimmery pastel set of colors in it, that's because the cloud particles are all nearly identical in size, said Mark Lemon, an atmospheric scientist with the Space Science Institute in Boulder, Colorado. That's usually happening just after the clouds have formed and have all grown at the same rate. NASA's Curiosity rover captured these stunning images on January 17, 2025. The dazzling iridescence seen in these clouds comes from light diffracting through tiny ice crystals, creating rainbow-like effects. There are two types of clouds on Mars. Water ice clouds at lower altitudes, around 31 miles, 50 kilometers above the surface and carbon dioxide ice clouds at higher altitudes between 37 and 50 miles, 60 to 100 kilometers, above the surface 80 kilometers. A fascinating aspect of these clouds is their movement. Due to different atmospheric layers, the two cloud types can move in opposite directions, hinting at a surprisingly dynamic and complex Martian atmosphere. These shimmering clouds appear seasonally, typically at the start of the fall season in Mars' southern hemisphere. As temperatures drop, the upper atmosphere becomes cold enough for carbon dioxide to freeze, creating these mesmerizing phenomena. Enter NASA's Curiosity rover, the tireless explorer that's been roaming Mars since 2012. Curiosity is equipped with the MAST camera, MASCAM, which captures high-resolution, full-color images of Mars's surface and sky. Despite some technical limitations on the left mass cam, the right camera remains fully functional and capable of capturing crystal clear images. Scientists time Curiosity shots during twilight, right after sunset, when the sun's rays hit the upper atmosphere at the perfect angle to illuminate high altitude clouds. One big mystery is why twilight clouds made of carbon dioxide ice haven't been spotted in other locations on Mars. Curiosity, which landed in 2012, is on Mount Sharp in Gale Crater, just south of the Martian equator. Pathfinder landed in Ares Vallis, north of the equator. NASA's Perseverance rover, located in the northern hemisphere's Jezero Crater, hasn't seen any carbon dioxide ice twilight clouds since its 2021 landing. Lemon and others suspect that certain regions of Mars may be predisposed to forming them. A possible source of the clouds could be gravity waves, he said, which can cool the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide was not expected to be condensing into ice here, so something is cooling it to the point that it could happen. But Martian gravity waves are not fully understood, and we're not entirely sure what is causing twilight clouds to form in one place, but not another. These twilight images reveal intricate atmospheric details, such as wind patterns and cloud movements providing critical insights into Martian weather systems. The consistent appearance of these clouds each Martian year highlights the presence of seasonal patterns, an indication that Mars has more dynamic weather systems than previously thought. Additionally, studying these atmospheric behaviors helps scientists piece together how Mars transitioned from a potentially habitable world to the barren landscape we observe today. Other missions, such as NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, and the InSight Lander, complement Curiosity's findings. MRO has detected water ice clouds near the Martian equator, while InSight has measured subtle atmospheric pressure fluctuations, suggesting a still active atmosphere. These shimmering clouds might offer clues about Mars's past habitability. A more dynamic atmosphere in ancient times could have supported conditions favorable for microbial life. The frozen carbon dioxide clouds we observe today could be remnants of a more vibrant and active Martian past. By studying these atmospheric phenomena, scientists can gain valuable insights into how Mars transitioned from a potentially habitable environment to the barren desert we see today. Recent discoveries further deepen our understanding of Mars's atmosphere and climate history. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter recently detected subsurface water ice closer to the equator than previously thought. This finding is groundbreaking, as it hints at potential water sources that could be vital for future human missions.
Access to water ice near the equator would significantly simplify the logistics of setting up habitats or conducting extended research on the red planet. Another exciting revelation comes from the Perseverance rover, which has uncovered evidence of ancient river deltas in Jezero Crater. These sedimentary structures suggest that Mars once had flowing water, possibly even lakes, fostering conditions that could have been suitable for microbial life. This discovery adds a compelling piece to the puzzle of Mars's past and its potential to support life. In addition to geological discoveries, NASA's InSight lander has detected seismic activity beneath Mars' surface, indicating that the planet might still be geologically active. This newfound understanding of Mars's internal activity could reshape theories about its past, offering clues about its volcanic history and how geological processes may have influenced the atmosphere over time. The MAVEN mission has also provided crucial insights into how Mars's atmosphere evolved. By studying the effects of global dust storms on atmospheric escape, scientists have been able to better understand how solar winds stripped away Mars's once thicker atmosphere. This research helps explain why Mars lost much of its atmosphere and transitioned into the cold, desolate planet we know today. Understanding the role of gravity waves in cloud formation adds another layer of complexity. These atmospheric waves caused by wind interactions with the Martian surface or atmospheric currents cool the upper atmosphere enough for carbon dioxide to freeze. Interestingly, Curiosity has frequently observed these clouds in Gale Crater, while Perseverance stationed in Jezero Crater has yet to record similar phenomena. This discrepancy raises important questions about the variability of atmospheric dynamics across different regions of Mars. Ultimately, every discovery made on Mars expands our understanding of planetary science and the broader mysteries of the universe. Each shimmering cloud, each dust storm, and every trace of seismic activity contributes to unlocking the secrets of our celestial neighbor. The discovery of shimmering twilight clouds on Mars is more than just a scientific curiosity. It's a window into the planet's past and a potential roadmap for its future. For decades, scientists have speculated about the possibility of life on Mars. While the planet's surface today is harsh and inhospitable, these clouds suggest that Mars once had a more dynamic and potentially habitable atmosphere. Understanding how and why Mars changed could provide critical insights into the evolution of planets and the conditions necessary for life. Moreover, these findings have practical implications for future human missions to Mars. The presence of water ice near the equator, combined with a better understanding of Martian weather patterns, could make it easier for astronauts to survive and thrive on the red planet. By studying these atmospheric phenomena, scientists can develop more accurate models of Martian weather, helping to predict dust storms and other hazards that could pose risk to future explorers. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this discovery is what it means for our broader understanding of the universe. Mars is often seen as a mirror to Earth, a planet that may have once been like our own, but took a very different path. By studying Mars, we can learn more about the forces that shape planetary environments and the delicate balance required to sustain life. This knowledge could one day help us identify other potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. The shimmering twilight clouds captured by NASA's Curiosity rover are more than just a beautiful spectacle. They're a scientific treasure trove. These clouds offer a glimpse into Mars's atmospheric dynamics its climatic history, and its potential for past habitability. As we continue to explore the red planet, each discovery brings us closer to answering some of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? Could Mars one day become a second home for humanity? And what secrets does this enigmatic planet still hold? Thanks to the tireless efforts of missions like Curiosity, Perseverance, and Insight, we're piecing together the story of Mars, one shimmering cloud at a time. A and as we uncover more about our celestial neighbor, we're not just learning about Mars, 
We're learning about ourselves and our place in the cosmos. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, the red planet is more than just a distant dot. It's a world of wonder waiting to be explored. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the mysteries of Mars. Stay curious and keep looking up.